Hi there everyone, it's Gloria Kramer from Oakville, Canada, and today we are going to make this cute little, I think it's called a gatefold card, um, or maybe it's like an accordion card, I'm not really sure. So this is what it looks like. It has a belly band and it folds up to fit into a regular sized envelope. So let's get started. This is a great card if you want to show up, uh, sorry, show off uh, DSP. So if you love DSP like I do, this is a great opportunity to show off all the pretty patterns and colors. Um, I don't have the exact measurements for the uh, DSP because I wrote it down on a piece of scrap paper and then I threw it out. So what we're going to do while I make this card, I'm going to measure with this ruler and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is my Oh, so the um, sentiment that we're going to use today is going to come from Tidings and Trimmings. So I think we're going to use, we're going to use these two stamps here. We're going to use Cheers from Our Home to Yours and May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. So that's what we're going to use. And then we're going to use... Um, the uh, cherry cobbler ink and then we're also gonna use evening evergreen oh and I hear a kid come screaming I'm doing it for you <laughs> so, okay so we're gonna use evening evergreen and we're gonna use cherry cobbler but you can use whatever colors you want when you're making this at home Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the measurement of this card. It's a regular sized, um, so you would take one sheet of, of cardstock and cut it in half. And then I'll tell you what you need to score it at. You would need to score it at... Um, Four and a quarter. Let's open this up. And then at six. And then again at seven and three quarters. So four and a quarter, six, and seven and three quarters. So that's our scoring. And then when you when you fold it, you fold it sort of accordion style. So one goes that um sorry. Uh, so valley mountain valley. Okay. So when you get my kit, everything is pre-cut, pre-scored for you, which is awesome because then you don't have to do any of the hard hard work. You just have to put it together and you just stamp your own images. That's the only thing that's not included uh, with my kits is the stamped images as per Stampin' Up! Uh, policy. So I'm going to put these on blocks so we'll have that ready. And the great thing about DSP is you can sort of decide which side you want. So if you want to go with the red side or the green side, I kind of like this green side. And of course, I'm, on my sheet, you can see I did the wrong scoring there, but it doesn't matter. This is just for me. So I'm going to stick this down. So you're going to take your big sheet of DSP. And you're going to glue that down. And this card is super fast, super quick and easy. And 
and you can use any DSP collection for this card. You can make it into a birthday card, um, any type of card you want. So this is going to be where we're going to stamp our sentiment for the inside of the card because this will close. Okay, so let me tell you the measurement for this DSP here. It is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then we're gonna stamp our sentiment on the inside here. This is Evening Evergreen. And this, both these stamps are from uh, stamp set tidings and trimmings. So if you wanted to stamp more stuff on there, you could. Um, let's stamp some of these berries on there. I'm just going to clean that off. Oops. And then we're gonna, I'm just noticing my husband has the TV on really loud downstairs, even though our basement door is closed. So hopefully you can't hear it as much as I can. So that's the inside piece. And we're going to clean that off. And then next we're going to stamp our sentiment for the heart. Now if now this is what I have for myself. I go and take my punches and I punch all these little templates so that I can know very quickly whether or not a sentiment will fit. So this is what I do. I would take my little template and I would just sort of put it over the um, stamp set here just to see what would fit well um, into for my punches. So I'll show you what it would look like if I were to do a different one. So if I were to do a different one. So that's how I that's how I do it. Makes it really simple. Okay. Now I punch these hearts out using the uh, the heart punches here and it's perfect cuz it's so quick and easy when you have punches and they nest together perfectly. So that one goes right on top. So I'm gonna stamp this using cherry cobbler. There we go. And then what you can do is you can either pop it up, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some dimensionals and pop that up. Let's see if we can find our dimensionals here. And I'm going to pop that right up on this scalloped heart. And it is just perfect. Okay. We're done with our stamping for this card. So I'm just going to close these 
ink pads up so we don't make a big mess. Oops. And then we're going to mount these onto our card base here. And then for this piece, we're going to decide whether we want this side or this side. I think I'm going to go with the green, with the leafy print. Now for the kits that, um, that are out there, the DSP will be slightly different for each kit. Um, but again, you have lots of choices as to what pattern you're going to use for each, for your card. So these two pieces, I'll let you know the measurement. The measurement is one and five eighths by five and three eighths. And then we have our little strips here. We're gonna have one that's a little shorter and then two strips that are a little longer. So then again, you're gonna have to decide which side you wanna use. So I think I'm going to use this red side there and then for this side I think I'm going to go with the green. Glue that strip down. So the length of this strip, these two strips are going to be five and three eighths, and then the width is one, two, three, four, five eighths. Measures, yep, five eighths. And then we're going to glue this strip on the outside here. And then for our belly band, what we're going to do is, this is my suggestion, is for you to wrap it around your card and then glue it down. Because otherwise you might do it a little too tight. So what I like to do is... My favorite is this score tape that is a one eighth of an inch and I got this on Amazon. So I'm just going to put a skinny little piece right on the end there. You can see that. And I'm going to peel the backing off. And again, you don't want to wrap it too tightly. Because you still want to be able to slide it on and off quite easily. So, that looks 
looks like it's going to slide just fine. And then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm just going to put that down. And again, I can use either, either side. I'm going to use this side here. So that's our belly band and now we're just gonna put our heart right across there and if you want to dress it up with some embellishments you can I didn't think of that when I was designing this card um, but again you can add a you can add a bow if you wanted to. I don't know if I have any bows lying around. I have this bow. I think it's going to be a little um, too busy. Let's see what other bows we have. I have this bag of bows. Something might work in here. Maybe this one. Let's see if this one might work. I think I could maybe, because I gotta remember, I still have to stick it on, stick it in the envelope. Maybe I could stick it down here. I don't know. I almost feel like it's sort of missing something, but I'm not really sure what. So maybe I'll put the bow down here. I don't know if that's gonna be weird. I guess what I could do is maybe shift my heart over a little and then add a bow right there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my heart to the side here. This is after all just the belly band. Just gonna stick a bow right here. So if you're doing making this at home, you might want to do a bow. Um, I'll show you what our original one looks like. Let's take a look at some embellishments. Maybe we can throw some embellishment on there. Let's see what we have here. We have some gems. Eh. I almost think like it's going to be too much if I go and throw something on there. Like maybe it'll just be too blingy. So let's just leave it at that with a little bow. And then I'll show you what my original card looked like. And we'll put this belly band back on. So, there you go. So, I think this is called like a triple gatefold or maybe like a accordion card with the belly band. And then you can see what it looks like opened up. Thanks again. Have an awesome rest of the evening and uh, have a great week uh, coming up. Thanks.